Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're the Fife Nation. We're playing the Let's Back in Let's Play, and guys. All right, welcome to episode 16 of my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. In the last episode, we beat up Lieutenant Surge. You could say it was a shocking battle. Okay, guys. Now, in today's episode, we're gonna go a bit off the beaten path and obtain an item that will be extremely useful for later in the game. And to get this item, you need, you need to have at least owned 10 Pokemon. I went out and I caught a few so I could get up to 10. And if you're like me, you're also gonna wanna bring some repels. And if you're also like me, you're gonna wanna put your water type out in front like I'm going to. Because uh, where we're gonna go, repels won't matter and we'll run in, well actually they will matter, they'll, uh, they, we'll go in Diglett Cave. And what you can find in Diglett Cave is Dugtrio and Diglett. More or less Diglett. But if you have Repelup and you have a Pokemon that's higher level than Diglett, I believe they're level 18-ish, then you'll only find Dugtrio. Now, it will probably run into a few Dugtrio, and it's impossible to run away from them because they all know Arena Trap as an ability. And with Arena Trap, you can't run away from them. So, I suppose it just this, this just cuts down on the amount of Diglets. Hopefully we won't have to face any Dugtrio, because they're, they're at very, very high level Pokemon. And if you're having trouble with Lieutenant Surge, I highly recommend going in here and catching one. Because, ooh, it will do you a lot of good, and I want to put my repels up. I don't want to run into anything bad. Anything bad is bad. Anything bad. Generally, generally that's then generally that's how I think. Anything bad is definitely bad. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we were so close. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if all dig Doug Trios have Arena Trap, so I'm actually going to try to run. Oh, no. Just can't escape. Oh, and it's going to dig. Okay, maybe I can escape now. Uh, generally running away from a Pokemon battle depends on your speed, and Dugtrio is a fairly fast Pokemon. So I guess that, I hope this doesn't do too much, because otherwise I'm screwed. Okay, now I'm just gonna start water pulsing them. Oh no. Lowering my accuracy. See, these Dugtrio are freaking powerful. This level 1 is level 29, three levels higher than my strongest Pokemon, Gillian. Oh! That was close. It's gonna use Dig, I bet. Nope, okay, Fury Swipes. Now if I'm correct, Fury Swipes cannot faint you. Okay. I, I couldn't find, wouldn't find out. But anyway, if I'm correct, Fury Swipes will only get you down to as low as 1 HP. It's very nice for catching, po well, legendary Pokemon. Then again, I could be wrong. Okay, Gillian grew to level 27 off that battle. That's pretty nice. Uh, and here we go out of Doug Digla Cave. Well, Doug Trio Cave, okay. And Route 2, here we go. And now in this house, you have a trade available. You can trade an Abra for a Mr. Mime. I'm not going to. Mr. Mine's a wonderful Pokemon, and it's a very, very nice special defense wall. But you know what? We got uh, Bra, Bra, Brahms for that. We have, we have that guy. We have that guy. We have our Drowsy. And oh, yeah, uh, you're gonna want to bring a guy with Cut along too. That would be kind of a shame to come all this way without uh, having Cut. And right here, hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. I'm okay. He's giving us a reward if we have. 10 Pokemon in HMO5. Yes, I have. Great, you've caught her. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. HMO5. HMO5 contains a hidden flash. Flash lights up in the darkest of caves and dungeons. Very, very useful for m later in the game. And if you come down here, you can find an ether, I believe. Yes, okay. And right here, there's another item. And you can find a perilous heal. Very nice, very nice indeed. And then here, you can just cut away and you'd be in uh, Viridian City. And then, actually, Pallet Town. Well, no, Viridian City, just kidding. Uh, and okay, I'll meet you guys back up in uh, Vermilion. All right, well, I lied when I said Vermilion and I truly meant Cerulean. I guess, because I didn't, we didn't really need to show walking from Vermilion to Cerulean. You should know how to do that. Okay, so, you know, like maybe two episodes back, we got the bike, 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 bike voucher. We can go into the bike shop here. And we can redeem it for a bright, shiny, red bike. Actually, just kidding. It's really plain bike. I wish you, I wish they were colors. I wish they were colorful. Otherwise, it would cost you $9 billion polka dollars. Basically, the lottery. Actually, the lottery is insane. The lottery right now is $540 million. I had a long discussion with people. Oh, it is a bright... That is a red bike. Wow. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> I'm actually going to select that as my uh, registered. And register an item just means you can you select and you don't have to go into the menu to use it. And let us go, oops, okay. Well, I didn't really have to go in here, but I did anyway. Uh, there's a, oops, sorry for that. 
There is a uh, patch of grass that is just uh, south of Cerulean here that you can take instead of that house once you have cut. And right here, you can use cut on this tree. And this is actually continuing on. This isn't off the beaten path at all. This is continuing onward, and there's a required Pokemon Trainer Battle here. And you know what? I'm going to set out in front. I'm going to set out... Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, I, don't, I guess Gil Gillian's out of commission for right now. I don't really feel like going back and healing up. I'm gonna send out Pikachu in front. Or Sparky. Sparky's in front. Sparky, Sparky. You guys named him Sparky. We should be getting to that sound town maybe in like two episodes and we can name him. Oh, that was dumb of me. Why did I do that? Oddish. Okay. Uh, let's go with the Thunder Wave here. Yeah, okay. We can keep this Oddish paralyzed. And then I'll just start quick attacking him. That seems probably... Ah, oh, damn you. <laughs> okay. Darn. Oddishes are darn... I hate, I hate grass types. I hate grass types. Let's go with bra, Brahms. Bra, bra. That's, I've, I'm keeping, I keep thinking the ladies under, undergarments in the back of my mind. Oh, oh, guys, okay, I'm not going into that topic. Um, let's just start using confusion because it's super effective against these guys. And down should go your Oddish. Nope, okay. You're going to survive another turn. Don't you dare. No. Okay. I, why did you even use Sleep Powder? Then I at least could wake up from that right away with Insomnia, or actually wouldn't even affect me. I feel bad for Drowsy, he's always got Insomnia. I've kind of been scouting Insomnia, I, I don't fall asleep until like 4 or 5 in the morning. Unless I use take a sleeping pill. And I just got personal. And he's sending out a Bellsprout, but I'm going to keep Bra Brahms out because uh, I don't want to... I don't want to switch to anybody else. Actually, no, I could switch to Volan. I didn't even think about that, but I forgot that Volan learned a, actually a flying type move. I actually forgot that Volan evolved. Oh, you already forgot about me? Yeah, I'm sorry, Volan. I'll, I'm gonna send you out right now because Brahms, Brahms is paralyzed. Bra, I got Bra, yes, Bra. I'm gonna be doing that for like four or five more episodes until I sit down one day and I just say it like a million times. Why did I send out Gillian? What, what 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 possessed me right there? Why did I do that? That is not me, huh? That's um, that was stupid. No! <laughs> I hate you. Wing attack, Volan, wake up now. This this is not an option. You must wake up right this second. Right this second, Volan, wake up. Volin? Volin? I wish it was like Coliseum where you could call him out and it would wake him up in battle. Oh man, a lot of people didn't know about that. And then I probably so there you go, Volin. Now I'm awake, Jordan. Yeah, I know you are. Now you just winging yeah, see I could have switched you out first and you could have done some work. I should have just have you out in front. I'm gonna move you in front, Volin. Just for this just for this battle, you're being moved in front. Uh what am I like seven minutes into the video? I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, down goes your bell sprout. See, I could have just swept him with a ball in here and would have shaved off like two minutes of this video. And instead, I switched to Gillian on accident. I don't even know why I switched to Gillian on accident. Dang it. Okay, let's go ahead and let's switch out to. Uh, oh boy, I should really just go and heal up real quick. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go heal up. Okay, and I'm back and we're all healed up and I'm magically down this ledge. And right here, if we can avoid that, we have TMO. 40 Aerial Ace, okay. Now let's take a look here at Aerial Ace. I'm not sure what my team's going to be at the end because you guys still have to choose Pokemon. Uh, Aerial Ace, 60 power, 20 PP, never misses. I'm going to get rid of Wing Attack for that. Uh-huh, yes I will. That seems like a fair trade. 60 power for 60 power, both fly moves, but Aerial Ace never misses. So I think that's a pretty fairly good deal. And we learned Aerial Ace. Sweet. Now sadly what sucks about Volan- Oh no, I don't want to teach secret power on anybody. Get out of here. The thing that sucks about Volan is that- Ooh, we have a predicament here. You look the other way! Ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, that would have sucked just having Volan out in front there. And all these guys are optional. And right here we have actually have a trainer. They have ooh, a bug trainer. Good. Good, good, good. I can test out my- Go my super bug Pokemon! Super, super, super. I imagine a Caterpie with a Superman cape. Oh, I bet you it's really high level. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yep. That's that's funny. That's funny. I like what the game did there. I like what the game did there. I'm not gonna lie. Go my Super Bug Pokemon and it's a Caterpie. 
I bet you we could Metapod. Oh no, Venonat. Okay, Venonat's kind of different. We haven't seen Venonat yet. Uh, Venonat evolves into Venomoth. Uh, I really don't care for any of the bug type Pokemon. Actually, you know what? Uh, that's a lie. I had Heracross on my team and Pokemon Silver. I actually liked him quite a bit. Even though we didn't get too much showtime. And a Weedle. <laughs> Weedle! Super Weedle! Boom, boom, boom! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No! It's Super Weedle! <laughs> that's gonna be the title of this video. Super Weedle. Okay, Volunger level 24. Sweet, wow, that was a lot of sad bonuses. My bugs! It's okay, it's okay, I know how you feel. Just kidding, I don't. He's a trainer! Don't be fooled, he's a trainer. Then get away from me. Oh, there's a trainer down here. Oh, wait, wait, she's not required? I always thought she was required. Oh well. Now, here we'll be revisiting here much later in the game. But until then, here's a Pokemon Center. And what are we at? I don't even know. But I think today would, right now, would be a good time to end the episode off. Considering, yeah, next episode we'll go through Dark Cave. Alright guys, we are the Fife Nation. If you enjoyed this Let's Play, this commentary, this walkthrough in any way, shape, or form, I encourage you to subscribe if you're new and like the video, if you like the video, of course. Alright, I'll see you all later. Peace out.